Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm an artist and today we're going to draw a stove step by step. Step one, do a square, just like that, kind of a rectangle, so it's a little longer on the sides, step one. Step two, we're going to add a little bit of dimension, so put two diagonal lines on the side and a line across to show the stove is going back, back, right? Okay, step number three, we're going to draw a little bit of a, a lip on top of the back of the stove like that. And that's pretty common on most stoves, I'd say. Step number four, we're going to draw the front door of the stove, which is where the oven is, where mom or dad cooks the turkeys and all that stuff, or the vegetarian lasagna, if you will. Step number, what's over five? We're gonna do our burners. We've got four of them. We've got two in the back. We've got two in the front, just like that. Step number six, we're gonna do our knobs. So there's a knob for each burner on each side, and then usually kind of a knob in the middle for the stove, uh, for the stove cooking area. There's a handle on our stove. We'll call that step seven and a window so that you can see into the stove. And sometimes they put little feet on the bottom of the stove like that. It's pretty easy to draw a stove, I must say. And then you can get fancy if you want to. You can take creative liberties and go ahead in and put decorations on your stove if you want to. We can put some stars on our stove, some hearts on our stove. Maybe uh, we can put a pot on our stove here and whatever's cooking in this pot is smelling really good. You can see this, the fumes coming off. Oh no, maybe there's a little bit of a fire. Somebody spilled some grease and it's catching on fire. But those kind of liberties are up to you. That's the fun of drawing. And this is how you draw a stove step by step.